Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hope everybody uh, managed to get through their Monday. Um, my Monday was, I mean, it was, it wasn't bad. It just was uh, pretty hectic. I had a lot going on with my computer today at work. So I had a lot going on today. It was a lot. It was a lot. So it was kind of frustrating. Um, I went about an hour. I was just like, man, what the hey is going on here? You know what I'm saying? Um, so this isn't going to be long. Um, this is a, you know, a video dedicated to the gods today. I've been talking a lot to the ladies, but um, this time is for you gentlemen. Um, I wanted to touch base with you gods um, about something that's on my heart and mind. Now, you guys know that... Um, um, I've been talking to the goddesses about some beastly ways, you know, some of the ladies are out here doing the most. They're showing up and showing out on their man late at night, clocking out, acting a fool. And, um, so I wanted to touch base with you gentlemen today. Um, I want, I want to give you something to think about, especially for the gentlemen that are reaching out to me in my inbox. I'm getting some men that's reaching out and telling me, um, that they're in, the situation right now with a woman that's kind of volatile, spicy, and all of that. So she's doing the most and showing out and all this stuff on the men. And so um, I wanted to talk about that real quick. So gods, listen, I want you to get something that I think is very, very important. I want you guys to think about something. And I know that um, this is going to go against a lot of what your mama your mom, your grandma, everybody that you have probably most likely have been taught that um, you are supposed to forgive your woman um, and show a softer side. Hey, Victor, show a softer side of yourself to your lady. Allow your lady um, some room of, you know, I don't know, spiciness or acting out, you, you're kind of allowing them to, you know, grow. So you're kind of having patience with it and you're trying to um, help them to not act a fool on you. And so what we teach our sons, and I'm going to talk to the goddesses about this, uh, what we as mothers teach our sons is to play nice, to forgive girls that are spicy and want to claw, claw at you, even, even when they're young. We as mothers tell our sons not to put their hands on a girl um, and to be respectful of women, you know, pull the chair out, hold the door open, be mindful of a woman and, you know, take a bullet for them, uh, stand on the opposite, opposing side of the street so she doesn't get hit and killed if a car comes up. All the things we teach you um as a mother as women and we do this because we realize that you as men have a strength far beyond what a woman has um to be able to bear number one and to be able to even compromise or or challenge so we as women um have taught our sons have taught um even young men that are under our our covering we tell them you know, keep your hands to yourself. Make sure that you are respectful of girls and this and that. I want you to go against something for a minute that, and, and you're, it's going to sound crazy. But if you are in a relationship with a goddess that isn't God, isn't a goddess, she's beastly. She's a beauty, but a beast. And she has a very ugly demeanor to where no one else knows about it. Like you don't go to your boys and talk about how she gets all up in your face. Um, she claws at you. She bullies you. She, you know, basically emasculates you. She does a lot of things to you. Whereas it is very volatile and vicious. You may not be talking about this to anybody. And I know you probably are keeping it to yourself because you don't want to say that your woman's acting a fool. And that's fine, but I want you to understand something. There's a difference between forgiveness, okay, and staying with your woman in that relationship and forgiveness and seeking a way to exit out of the relationship. Let me explain something to you. A woman that is volatile, vicious, um, 
and, and is a female bully, okay, she is going to apologize. She's going to put her pretty on. She's going to be the beauty that you remember why you got with her in the first place when she is in the doghouse, when she has acted an ass and you are now very standoffish. You're pulling back from your affections with her. You're really not talking to her. You're avoiding her calls. You really don't have much to say. She realizes that at that point, the only way to get back into good graces with you is to apologize and put her beauty back on. Okay, so she's going to put her beauty back on so that you become more drawn in to wanting to be back in, in, in her space, being in a relationship with her. But that is what is causing the relationship to be in the condition it is. Do understand, yes, you are supposed to forgive. I want to make that clear. Yes, however, you, you can forgive, but you do not have to stay. You can forgive and, and can detach from a woman that is vicious and volatile to you. You do not have to subject yourself to staying in a, in a dysfunctional relationship because she said she's sorry. Because let me tell you something. After a while, so many I'm sorry's are going to begin to get no real energy anymore. They're not going to mean anything. So you're going to find yourself constantly um back in a way and and kind of accepting the apologies and finding yourself in between a rock and a hard place because this woman is really not having any intentions on changing her beastly behavior she has no intentions what she intends on doing is continuing to reel you in with the beauty because remember she acts a beast and an ass when she's up in your face and, 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 and doing all this and that and, and calling you about your name and, and, and all this ugliness, she's, she's ugly. You get upset, pull out, and want to not have any contact with her. So you back up away from conversation. You don't show affection. You start to pull out calls. You really don't want nothing to say to her. There's a silent treatment going on. You're really pissed off because you think it's unacceptable. But then she puts the beauty on for you, doesn't she? She puts the beauty on, she puts the sexy on, she tries to get, you know, sexual with you, and you're like, damn, that is my weakness. So now, guess what? You're back in the bed with her, and you have not given her any real, you know, there was really no um, consequences to her actions. So now, she's going to tell you, I'm sorry, babe, I know I... I get out of the way, I know, but you know I come from a dysfunctional family, you know I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know I got this stuff going on, and you like, you right, you right, you right. And then the next thing you know, you're right back in the dysfunction again. And this woman has absolutely no intention on changing her ways. She doesn't even see her ways as being dysfunctional. She doesn't see her ways as being toxic, nor does she see her ways as being a bad thing. She just sees it as a norm. And every time she puts the sexy and the pretty back on, you right back in the bed with her and you right back making love and everything's fine until she's right back at it again. And then you're like, oh, how do I keep getting in this situation with you? And it, it chips away, it chips away, it chips away. You get more aggravated, more hurt, more hurt. And then what happens is, gods, you're not, you're not thinking clearly. You're thinking along the lines of, I know this is unhealthy, but I can't help it. I don't know how to get out because you're not forgiving properly. We tell you as mamas, yes, to forgive. But there is a time and a place where you have to forgive and detach from that relationship. If there is nothing, you have to understand the first time she claws in your face or calls you out of your name or becomes belligerent or becomes vicious to you and you accept it, that is one more time that it takes for her to continue to do this to you. And then what happens is you're like, um, okay, I'm done with it. I'm not happy with you. And then you find yourself, like I said, she puts her pretty back on and then you're right back in the bed with her again. And it becomes this vicious cycle. And you really don't know how to get out. I don't know how many men have come to me already. Like, I'm frustrated. I really need to get out of this. And it's like, well, let me put you up on game with something. Your, your way of forgiving her is not working. It's not working because there's no consequences. It's not working because she has no intention on changing her beastly ways. She has no intention on stopping her bullying. 
she actually hides behind the guise of it as if it's a cute thing when it's not. And you know it's not. You know this is not cute. You know it's not. But you can't figure out a way to get out. There has to be a way to which you learn to forgive it, but then you have to detach. And you, gods, must look at you. Because understand something. Yes, she is doing a lot. She is doing a lot. And she is doing a lot to you and towards you and, and provoking you and all of these things. But you also have a lack of self-love to be in this situation to where you are accepting her beastliness. You're accepting her, her bullying. You're accepting that. So in your acceptance and allowance of it, it is causing this turbulence in your relationship. It, there, is a, there is an allowance going on. So when you allow and she does, you allow, she does, it just, it's just a vicious cycle. It is an exchange of energy. Let me, under, let me put you guys up on game with something. Men, just because she's beautiful and pretty and everything you want physically and sexually doesn't necessarily mean she's the healthiest woman for you. Okay, so women that are unhealthy in the mindset can cause you to be unhealthy in your relationship and you're finding yourself doing this in a relationship and you don't even know where it's come from. But see, like I told you guys last video is that some people can be so toxic in a relationship with you and turn around and be in a great healthy relationship with someone else. It just depends on what the two of you create together. What do you create in y'all's union? What do you create in your relationship? What is it that you two are creating? So you have to think about this. What are you creating together? If you find yourself in, in the dating phase of a woman and she's volatile and vicious and, and, and crazy, why would you sign up to be in a commitment? Why would you sign up to be in a marriage? Why would you sign up for that? You know she's crazy. But for some reason, you can tell you tell yourself and you tell other men, because you got your boys that be like, man, what's up with your girl, man? She crazy. Like, man, I know she crazy. Okay, so why did you get with her? Why? That doesn't make any sense. So this is why I'm telling you guys here and now that if the woman has no, absolutely no desire to seek her, um, her peace or has no desire to change, and, and truly make some steps towards her own personal healing and growth and doing better, then there's no reason to continue to forgive and stay. Here's the other secret to this. You can't tell her that she has to get, seek help and change. She has to want to do that on her own. That has to come from the inside out because you telling her and demanding her to get help and she goes and does that is not an authentic way to which you should self-grow. We should self-grow based upon our own internal desire to want to change. Inside of that, that helps to not only build our, our strength to staying focused on change, but maintaining the change. So it has to come from the inside. So gentlemen, uh, gods, listen, all of y'all that are here, I'm thankful you're here. So I want you to tell, I want you to share this and tag your boys. I want y'all to sit down and have conversations amongst your friends and tell each other, look, man, if you got a lady that's volatile, we have a plan to help you not to stay in a relationship that's unhealthy for you. It's not good because men understand something. You guys can harm a woman and kill her. One blow can kill a woman. That's it. That's all it takes. I bet you if we went, I bet you if we went to the, to the prison right now and, and stopped and seen some of the men that snap now that had vicious women that were doing all this and that to them and they viciously snapped and they hit her and she's gone now. I bet you those men should have had other opportunities to, to leave, but they keep getting reeled in by when she puts on the pretty. When she becomes the beauty again, she acts crazy and loud and nasty and bullying and, and scratching your eyes out. And, and once she gets an alcoholic beverage or she goes out with her girls and comes back, she's volatile. All of those things needs to be addressed. And if she's not looking at herself and saying, look, I'm tired of this. I'm ready to, I'm ready to make a change. I'm even tired of apologizing to you and not changing 
that's a woman you may consider allowing to grow and get some help and make some changes. However, a woman that's not saying that she's looking to change, she's not saying that she's apologizing and truly wants to um, change just the dynamic of how she's moving in your relationship, it's fine to forgive her, yes, but it's time to get out. See, um, I think a lot of times we don't really get a hold or understanding of what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is to, is, and, and I did a whole series on forgiveness. So hashtag forgiveness series to get a lot of information about forgiveness. In the, in the Facebook search engine, you can go hashtag forgiveness series and you can get all of my information about forgiveness. But just today, I want to express to you guys that forgiveness doesn't always mean to stay. Sometimes forgiveness means forgive and detach. When you forgive and detach, it allows you to forgive the person, yes, and then pull away from their situation and allow yourself to have some peace and allow her to have some peace so you both can grow, either return back to each other if you guys get you know, to the point where you can create a newfound uh, ambiance together or stay apart. Because it's very unhealthy to continue to go into the cycle of forgiveness and going back, forgiveness and going back, forgiveness and going back. It's not, it's not working. So when you continue to do something over and over and over again, after a while, it's, it's insane to continue to do it because you're, you're hoping for a different result and it's not going to help. It's not going to happen. So gods, please tag your boys. Share this video. Tell your friends how important it is because we all know who she is. We all have a but. I know y'all, man, because y'all inbox me. So y'all got boys out here that got this woman in their life right now. And you know that she does the most. Y'all can't go and get drinks without him coming back and sitting in that truck or in his car in the driveway rocking back and forth to wait to figure out what he's going to walk into in that door because he's been out with you guys you know one of your boys has one of these women that are that are beauties and the beast you know you all know but y'all don't say too much because i don't want to talk about this girl i want to say nothing negative okay but you need to tell him that it is okay to detach from a woman if she's not healthy for him and see, um, once again, it's very important that in order for us to heal in the community, we have to start getting serious about our mental health. Understand something. There's many factors that can cause a woman to go into this direction. It could be menopause. It could be uh, hormonal changes. It could be bipolar. It could be mental health. It could be drug addiction. It could be alcoholism. It could be past um, sexual trauma. It can be an, a, a, an, a, I mean, just in a mass of different reasons why this woman has gone through and has become this beastly person. But you shouldn't have to subject your peace and your life in this situation to accommodate her. It, it comes to a point where, where is your self-love? Are you shining on loving yourself is the question. If you're not, why not? But I think, and like I said, I will be talking to the goddesses again, but I think that it is very important, gods, that you understand the difference between forgiving and staying and forgiving and detaching. Forgiveness and staying means that you see in your heart and soul, you see that she has um, some self-reflection she does want to seek change she is looking into medical reasons as to why she's doing these things she does have a resolve in her head as to what she's in in the practice of wanting to start doing to improve your relationship because look look here you can't change her only she can but you can change your reaction to her and what she's doing so with that said you as god you have to sit back and say well wait a minute um, I'm continuing to forgive her 
And in my forgiveness, I do this standoffish thing. I don't take her calls. We have silence in the house. It's real cold because I don't really want to talk to her or embrace her or touch her. But then all of a sudden she brings on this sex appeal and I just can't resist it. And I'm right back in the bed with her. And then we're, we're back to normal state. And then it happens again and it just keeps happening. And then that's how men, you gentlemen, you gods stay in these relationships because it's a cycle. It just keeps happening over and over and over again. And you're like, I don't know how I can get out. Well, you have to learn how to forgive and detach and let go. And here's the thing. Letting go is not going to be easy. You have to actually have someone to help guide you out of the exit. See, a lot of times we don't think about that because we don't, we don't want to acknowledge that exiting from a relationship, especially if you, there are attachment issues, um, it takes some type of help. It does because you have to get strong. You have to get past what is working while you keep staying there. See, and, and men, you know, yes, you're the victim of, of, of volatile uh, physical or, or verbal abuse, but you have to build up your own strength to say this is enough. And I have enough self-love for myself to just leave. No matter if it's going to be hard, you're not going to have sex for a while. You're going to be, you know, having to come up with a financial change and all of those things. I get it. But your self-peace needs to supersede what you're dealing with. If this woman is not seeking to find ways to make a change and make a difference in her own life. I mean, it's just what it is. So I just wanted to, to, to touch down with you guys and, and talk to you men. Um, I'm going to be having... Um, I'm going to be having some serious conversations um, with the goddesses um, about this scenario. I do have um, a virtual meeting discussion that I will be having in November with the, with the women um, because I think I want to start with them first. And then gods, if you are down or really would be open to coming to something like this and we can sit down and conversate about um your understanding of what you have to do um in the event that you are being viciously attacked uh put in here i'm in i want to do that and i will also um build a platform for you gentlemen to come into a conversation where you're safe we're just having an open non-judgmental um conversation about how to build better strong men into being okay with leaving and understanding what forgiveness of this nonsense really means you don't have to stay you don't you can detach and be just as strong in forgiveness you can detach from from the person that's a, you know being vicious to you you don't have to stay there you don't you just have to figure out a way well how can i get strong in myself in my own will how can i do that and then once you learn how to practice your own strength in your will, you'll find that it's not as hard doing that. Once you sit down and say, okay, I'm going to get strong and I'm going to have a coach. You know, Carla Nicole's a coach. You know, I'm a wisdom coach out here. If you guys need help with your exit plan, reach out. I mean, you know, I'm just an inbox away. All you have to do is inbox me. Hey, I need a coach. What can we do to make this happen? And we'll, we'll discuss how to make that happen. But in the meantime... Um, you need to see uh, how these empty um, apologies keep getting you. She keeps getting away with them. How do you how do you keep continuing to forgive someone and they really truly are not um, being um, responsible? They're not truly sitting down and saying, "Okay, I do want to make a change and mean it." So, I mean, at the end of the day, we really have to sit down, gods, and talk about this. Because I think in order to get stronger in relationships, we must not, we must understand that what we create in our relationship, be it as it may, it may it may be beauty, it may be ugly. So whatever that creation is with this particular person, you need to be honest with you. And if she's just coming off as a toxin and a poison and you guys can't make it work, then maybe it's better to be apart. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to live your, your whole life in agony. It's just, it's crazy. So share this video. I'm out of here, guys. I got to go get my baby boy. But uh, we will be talking about this more.
Um, I'm understanding that it, there's a need here that needs to be addressed. And um, I don't take it lightly that um, I've been put to the test to make sure that this gets taken care of and that we figure out ways of resolution. It's got to be done. I mean, this is ridiculous. So anyway, make sure you share this video. Um, if you have not yet signed up uh, to be a part of the Beast Beauty and the Beast event, November the 3rd, make sure to do that. I will put the um, event uh, link here. Um, it's $15 to join. It is going to be at 8 o'clock p.m. on Sunday, November the 3rd. If you want to be there, you are welcome. Um, God's to be there. And look, as far as I'm concerned, it needs everybody needs to be present. We have to have a way to fix this. So I'm out of here, guys. And just make sure you share this video. There's so many men out here hurting um, that need help. So share it. All right. I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys. Bye.